What is up, my brothers from another mother and my rational sisters from another mista. Now, in this video today, we're going to be talking about some female shaming tactics. And the reason why I'm mentioning my rational sisters is because I've gotten so many messages from women now on a lot of the dating um, videos that I've done. And there's two clear camps on them. There's the ones that appreciate it and are thankful, and there's the ones that really hate it. Uh, I'll be showing you some examples of the ones that have tried shaming tactics in the second half of this video. Uh, but to the rational women, but to the rational women that have um, thanked me both both publicly and privately in messages, I've had uh, mothers that have sent me messages thanking me because they were able to show the video to their sons and help them avoid either a bad marriage or get out of a bad relationship that was really sucking their energy out of them. So that's that's really the entire premise of my entire channel is become a better version of yourself, and that includes. Uh, spiritually, emotionally, physically, and in intergender relationships, like intersexual relationships between men and women. I speak from experience, okay? So I'm just gonna dive into this. Uh, again, the topic of this one is female shaming tactics. And I wanna start with this uh, comment. The bottom line is for me anyway, when I have somebody that tries to shame, insult, or they exhibit jealous behavior, I always look at it from this perspective. Would I wanna trade places with that person? And always the answer is no for me. Uh, you see, people never get jealous of you losers. Just remember that next time somebody talks shit about you, okay? So let's just dive into the topic right now. Um, there's several charges from the feminine imperative that they use to try to motivate you in their direction uh, or to shame you if you're not uh, complying with the feminine imperative, okay? The first is charge of anger management. Uh, women will usually try to throw this, you're an angry person, you're not kind enough. But see, the truth of the matter is, is that anger is a legitimate response in the face of injustice. Uh, the passive acceptance of evil is not a virtue. And guys, I'm gonna leave in the description below just some of my uh, notes if you wanna check them out as well. Uh, but you'll start to notice a pattern with these things, okay? So the first is charge of anger management. The second is charge of fanaticism. This one's straightforward. It's like, you're one of those right-wing wackos or a comment like, more anti-feminist extremism. But the truth is not decided by the number of people that subscribe to it, okay? If ideas are out of a woman's scope of understanding, it's completely besides the point. Um, everybody's motivated by their own agenda, so you just have to remember that. Now, women usually resort to overt shaming and insulting when covert, communi when covert communications fail. Often they'll push you to the point where you snap and you call them a bitch. Now, that's when you've lost. As soon as you snap and you do that, that's when you've lost. So anytime a woman resorts to that sort of thing, it's because you've already won. So you just basically maintain the course and you keep going. Um, there was a great segment that Bill Bird did in a stand-up routine where he was talking about bobbing and weaving because um, you know you basically won when you got to the point where they want you to snap and call them a name or something like that. So you know that, that whole charge, just be aware of it and you'll see some of it in some of these comments next. The next one is the charge of overgeneralization. Uh, the Nawalt thing. And Nawalt stands for not all women are like that. And you'll start to see that in the comments as well, where they kind of open with, not all women are like that. How can you be so generalizing? You'll see it in a second. Um, and they generally say it's a sexist stereotype or the patriarchy or something like that. So pointing to a trend is not the same as generalizing. If you're pointing to an experience, which is how I speak, I'm, I'm, I'm trained in Gestalt language protocol, uh, through entrepreneurs organization and my time facilitating forums there. So you just have to understand that when I speak, I'm speaking either from experience or from sharing an actual experience of, of somebody that's close to me that I've seen or participated in. So you'll also notice that most women that are offended by a statement tend to fit the shoes and wear them. Again, this is another scenario. You just want to bob and weave. You just want to kind of dodge it. You don't want to get into, you know, get into the mud. Um, you know, when, when somebody tries to pull you into um, the mud, like there's this term internet troll sort of thing. I guess there's, you know, YouTube trolls. They put things in the comments. They try to, you know, snag you in on. They want you to, pigs want you to get in the mud and get dirty with them. And as soon as you do that, you've basically lowered yourself to their level. You're never going to win that argument. You just don't participate in it. Uh, next one is charge of selfish, selfishness. They'll, they'll come at you with things like you only care about yourself. But what women are really saying is that men shouldn't spend their time and resources on their agenda. They should spend it on a woman's agenda. And then the men is charged with being selfish if we're not doing what they want us to do. So just be aware of that one too. You'll see that as well. 
Uh, charge of super, superficiality. So that's another good one that I saw quite a few times. And it's something like, you know, if you didn't go after bimbos, and then, you know, you can kind of fill in the blanks of, after that. Or how could you be so shallow to turn down a single mother? Okay. Um, it's called self-respect and self-preservation. Um, you just have to, you have to put a priority on yourself and making better choices. So if you make a better choice that violates their value system or val or violates their belief system, they're going to call you superficial. Okay. You just have to understand your own value. Uh, a man that doesn't understand his own value is not virtuous. He's one of these manginas. He's one of these simps that people kind of like label. Again, I don't want to go down that road, but this charge of superficiality, you'll start to see it a lot. Okay, so that's kind of the intro to the video. I'm going to switch over to a screen record and do some voiceover on some of the comments uh, that I have seen come in over the last, well, it's been a while now. Uh, I've been meaning to do this video actually for a while because um, whenever I get comments in that I find interesting, I either use them to reference a new video, like use it for content if somebody makes a topic suggestion, which I do quite often, or uh, I'll perhaps use it as a response video. So this is my response to triggered women. I hope you enjoy this. All right, guys, let's uh, go down this fun little rabbit hole of triggered women and some of the shaming tactics that they use. Um, a lot of this stuff has either been kept on a uh, Evernote notepad or I've taken a screenshot of it on my phone if it came in that way. Um, here's the first one that I got. So this is just a screenshot. This one was the um, uh, story that I basically told my experience in uh, dating single moms. So again, this is just me speaking from experience. I want guys to get into their life situations with their eyes wide open, which is why I share these things. So uh, this woman responds, okay, I watched the video and I think that if a man doesn't date a woman because she has a kid from another man, well, one, you're not a man, you are a bitch in a man's body. So that's that's one of the typical kinds of, uh, you know, shaming tactics that they'll throw at you. It's overgeneralization or fanaticism or whatever it is, you don't fit the ideal of the way that they think, right? Uh, two, whoever even seats and thinks of this dumbass shit, you should just go ahead and kill yourself now because you are a retarded fuck. Thank you, Vicky. Uh, this one was good here, actually, too. Uh, Michelle says so, says, you are a total douche. It's no wonder guys like you are 40 plus, never married, no kids. You hate women. Why is that? Um, being married is not a badge of honor, like a level of achievement to unlock Michelle. It's, it's, it's what people do if they find that they want to spend, uh, the rest of their lives together, I suppose. Uh, I tried it out. It didn't happen to work out for me. And there's a daughter that came out of the marriage that I'm thankful for, but uh, thanks for your comment. Let's keep going. Uh, why is that a small penis? <laughs> oh, how do I even respond to that? Oh, Michelle, Michelle insecurities unsure of your manhood again she's you know she's pointing to unsure of your manhood you have a small penis did somebody hurt you yeah michelle everybody gets hurt at some point in their life i suppose that's why i made this video to let guys know what happens if you fall into certain situations okay uh no woman in her right mind would put up with your mouth. Maybe that's why you attract the weak ones. Good luck and have fun when you're old, alone, pathetic, and drooling in your nursing home. See, this is this is a pretty extended remix of somebody throwing massive shame tactics out at somebody, uh, trying to use a pathetic, you're old, you're alone. Uh, you know, as if putting up with a woman's bad behavior or putting up with um, a woman's kid's bad behavior is something that guys should uh, put themselves through. There's some guys that are okay with putting themselves through that. I personally am not, and there's a lot of men out there that feel the same way, which is why they echo my sentiment and why videos that I've produced in this area have had so many views. So I, Michelle, I'd be happy being in a nursing home by myself, not putting up with a clacky moose like you, if I'm being honest here. So P.S. Get over yourself. Nobody wants you to build their shelves. Get the fuck out of here. I can't even begin to start to talk about how many things that, uh, you know, dating a single mom forces you to do for them. You're basically serving two households, but I'll leave it at that. You guys can check out the video on those details if you want. Here's another one. 
Uh, Lulu Roriddle says, maybe one of the types of men women should stay away from is balding I Inez with green knit bracelets. Lulu, sweetheart, the green knit bracelet I was wearing in that video my daughter made for me when she was about five or six. Uh, yeah, so I'm sorry the green knit bracelet offended you, but rainbow looms were kind of cool at that time when I put it on. And the whole comment about the whole balding lines, that's, you know, that's another typical shaming feature, another shaming content. You know, it's like, you know, I don't agree with what you've put out there. So I'm going to say that you're ugly, balding, and, and have bad, uh, I guess, jewelry choices. Is that what you're trying to say? That a, a rubber band bracelet that my daughter made me is a bad jewelry choice? Amanda, uh, probably not being a dickhead and making videos like this will help you find a good woman. Nobody decent would touch you. This is an interesting one because I've got so much positive feedback from this one. There must have been something in it that completely triggered her. Don't know what it is, but uh, apparently I'm a dickhead. Here's another one. This one, this one came in recently the other day. Uh, so Kim says, wow, this dude is really more sexist in this video than he was in the other ones. That's pretty bad. There's nothing sexist in the video, Kim. I was just telling the truth. Any guy who uses the opening, what's up? My brother's from another mother is completely immature for one. And it's completely evident that you are not a good student and money is only one criteria as to why that's a good attribute in life. I'm not really sure what your point is, Kim. Uh, men have been systematically feminized by society. I think if you go watch the video and you take a look at the comments and the number of thumbs up, uh, a lot of people agree, including many, many women that are tired of feminists um, ruining things. Here's another one from her. You know, I don't get why these women are watching so many of the videos. If they disagree with the content that I produce, then don't watch it. I don't like to watch cat videos. I think they're lame and boring and idiotic. So I, I just pay no attention. If, you know, uh, a cat video showed up in my feed, I would completely ignore it. If there was a makeup tutorial about how to do something, I would completely ignore it because I don't care. It's fascinating that when you put out some sort of content that again, violates their core value system, that violates their belief system, that they've got to go throw something in the comments and have their say. It's almost like she's having her last word. Wow, now I know why there's so many selfish men out there. You're listening to this turd. I feel sorry for his daughter. So this is where they start to come at me with something at a different angle. I feel sorry for his daughter. Like, you know, she's gonna have a bad life or she's being misrepresented or, or something like that. Um, you know what? Time will tell, sweetheart. Okay, time will tell. Let's see how my daughter turns out in 20 years. I wonder what your kids look like in comparison. Sorry, what an unrealistic misogynist who thinks of every angle he can to disqualify women. Well, Kim, the title of the video is three types of women that you want to avoid dating. Again, it's for men. The first type was somebody with daddy issues. The second type was somebody that's trying to be saved. And the third type is somebody that's always fighting with their ex over money or child support. All three types are completely draining, and I recommend guys stay away from them still to this day. So if, fellas, you wanna date a woman that has any of these three attributes, or even all three, you're gonna be in for a world of pain, hurt, discomfort, and a lot of annoyance. But she's suggesting that it's unrealistic and misogynistic that I'm pointing out every angle I can think of to disqualify a woman. There's only three there. I promise you there's a lot more, Kim. This one here is is funny. She's, you know, she throws comments in quite a few of these videos now. So Blue says, what do we got here? Another one that smashed into the wall hard. She's got to wear sunglasses on her profile. Um, I wonder what this guy did to have his family leave him. He's so bitter pretending to be fine. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to say this, okay? My marriage didn't work out and I chose to leave it. And that's it. <laughs> Um, he's so bitter pretending to be fine. If he doesn't work out his ex-wife issues, well, my ex-wife and I actually have a great co-parenting arrangement with our daughter and we're able to converse on just about any subject to this day. So I, you know, I thank you for your concern, Blue, but you're way off topic. He's going to end up alone. Again, you know, another charge of you're going to be alone. You're going to be loneliness. You know, you're going to be an old man drooling in a old age home. You know, it's like, the, you know, when you say these things that are truthful and factual, it's shameful to them. It's, it's so bizarre. It's such strange behavior. Uh, eating frozen pizza on Christmas, thinking he won because he's so alpha. Super lame. And then some other woman will chime in here. Marilyn. Oh, shocking. A cat lady. Uh, he's not aging very well either. Oh, <laughs> 
here's here's another charge you know if it's not the penis or the balding it's you're aging poorly right he's not aging very well either and i'm sure it has to do with all that bitterness that he carries around he's damaged good so be careful ladies that's funny and she goes on and on and on here i'm not even gonna bother with the rest of hers uh here's another one jazzy lee and she says i can't believe those guys really listen to you there are only three types of women and you just mentioned them so pick your poison there's only three types of women she's saying i'm pretty sure there's more than three in fact maybe in the future i'll make a video of maybe like a you know distilled version of the 10 worst that you should stay away from jazzy and maybe that one will trigger you to pick your poison it is so not cool talking about women like that when you guys are the main reason for our issues so fellas look at look at what she's written here now this is somebody that's not taking any ownership for where she's at in her life and what's happened in intergender relationships with men it's all the man's fault and you guys are the main reason for our issues just let that settle in for a second yeah just just think think about that charge you know women don't want overgeneralization or fanaticism or selfishness or superficiality uh but that's a pretty broad brush stroke right there jazzy but thank you for your comment uh ms butler uh when is she going so she's commented on the video that i did about the dangers of dating single mothers uh you know you can check it out it's uh been very useful actually that's been the most viewed video on my channel now it's almost got two hundred thousand views this is probably the one that i've had um women comment to me privately the most on and say thank you i sent this to my son because he was dating a single mother and he, he was in such a bad situation and i saw it as a parent so let's see what miss butler had to say here uh, of course you didn't want a stepchild you don't seem bothered about your own child instead of criticizing a parent whose natural biology and evolution demand prioritizing her offspring look at why you're not maybe if you had a good-hearted upstanding stepfather i didn't have a stepfather miss butler i had uh a father in my life my entire life I'm, I'm i'm grateful and thankful i had a virtuous man as a father uh you would see how fucking stupid your comments are all right let's see what your next one is i wonder why she wrote four separate comments anyway concentrate on your own six-year-old daughter not how to get your end away with hassle-free child-free sex life many many fathers put their children first you fuckwit of not you no wonder you are wife and child left you oh boy <laughs> so you're a fuckwit uh my wife left me and my child left me and uh i want child free sex or something i'm totally confused with what she's saying but you can just you know you can see the anger obviously you know this this video pointed to a lot of facts that resonated within her that probably hurt um but that's the thing about the truth you know the cold hard truth will first set you free and then it will piss you off and then you have to move on from that next comment here she says women need to stick together bring their children up together by the best genetic male who ain't a bald twat and never give sex to any of you fuckwits ever you know i completely ran out of fucks to give about losing my hair when i was like 20 21 uh you probably noticed by the video i made a couple weeks ago giving guys tips on just shaving your head that i really just don't care and what does she say here now if i'm reading this correctly women need to stick together bring their children up together okay and then she follows it up with the best genetic male yes we know miss butler that you want the best genetic male men understand that but what you're saying is we women need to stick together to bring their children up together and if i'm reading that correctly that's that kind of falls in a line of it takes a village to raise children and that's true you know that's why we have uh uncles and cousins and grandparents and that that network of people and i'm grateful to have that in my life it's 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 absolutely brilliant but what you're suggesting there is women need to stick together and bring their children up together up together so what are you saying that that women should do all the child rearing that that there's no room for a strong virtuous adult male role model you know an alpha male to be in that place here's another one if you asshole men were not getting females pregnant <laughs> okay um let's see last time I checked there's there's well over 30 methods of birth control I think there's something like 32 or 33 and only two of those are in the man's control so we're talking vasectomy condoms and if you want to count pulling out as a method I would whatever um you know the rest of them like all 
almost all uh, aspects of birth control are in the woman's control. I think it's well regarded around the world that women are the gatekeepers of birth control. Women are also um, the decision makers when they choose who they're going to sleep with. You know, men don't have a lot of choice in who they're going to sleep with. So if you're making bad choices and, and sleeping with uh, what you call asshole men, Ms. Butler, then you're going to end up with asshole children and asshole scenarios uh, dealing with asshole men. So because you had a bad experience dating uh, guys and maybe have a kid or two or three, I don't know. Uh, and you know, the father left, you know, shocking based on your commentary and behavior, but you're the gatekeepers. And the other thing too, Ms. Butler, is um, if you have an accident, if a condom breaks or you didn't take your birth control pill that day, there's also the morning after pill that you can get from a drugstore, which is not expensive, which is also another form of birth control. So um take a little bit of ownership you know that's that's one of the things that i see a lot is there's a total lack of ownership from anybody that throws comments in there the shaming the ball you have a small dick uh, you're ugly your wife left you your child left you you know you're a loser you're going to be a drooling old man in a old age home anyway uh and then walking away like the piss piss uh piss ass baby cunts that you are nice nice grammar great lovely that you are these poor women and kids wouldn't it would, wouldn't be in this situation and having to deal with your immaturity in these poor kids lives you're all pathetic and i should think l lonely learn how to spell you are advocating that all relationships will end ink marriages so all kids include your own will be brought up by single moms you are idiots you men are the problem again we saw that with that other woman that said, you know, men are screwing up women. You know, I'm not taking any ownership. She's saying you men are the problem. You men are the problem. Yeah. Women need to go old school. School? I guess it's old school. The women pick pick one alpha, sleep with him, breed with him, and women together bring up the children together and fuck off, you second-rate genetically inferior crap heads. <laughs> so, she, so she's suggesting... Go bang an alpha, have his kid, and then raise the children with other single mothers. Yeah, you know how well that's working out? You want me to go down the stats again? Uh, like more than 80% of the incarcerated in North America come from single mother homes. Teenagers that commit suicide, uh, it comes from, sig from significantly higher ratios from single mother homes. I could go on and on and on, but I'm, but I'm going to stop there because I've talked about this before. But you guys get my point on this one. Let's go to the next one. A male chauvinist who thinks he knows women. I don't think I know women. I'm, I'm, I'm learning, Bianca. I'm, I'm going through this journey like anybody else, and I'm learning and sharing my experiences. Don't know why your shit talk keeps coming up in my recommended videos. Ah, this one's always funny. I've seen this one before. Well, let me explain to you how recommended videos work with YouTube and Google algorithms. If you're watching content uh, deep into the content. So if it's a 10 minute video and you watch 10 minutes of the video and it's similar to the content that I'm producing, uh, YouTube is going to recommend my video in your feed. So if you've been watching videos about why single mothers have been dumped or the kind of relationships that men have had with single mothers or why men are going MGTOW because they're dating single mothers, then this will show up in your feed. So it's probably because you're watching similar content, Bianca. You obviously had some really bad experiences with women. Well, yes, but it's mostly been single mothers. That's why this video you're watching here is, this is a response video that I did, by the way. A guy sent me an article that was written that said four reasons why you should date a single mother. And I can't remember what the other three were, but one of them was just completely ridiculous. It was something like, single mothers have fruit roll-ups in their cupboard. And I just laughed my ass off because, you know, if you want fruit roll-ups, just go to the store and buy them yourself, fellas. You don't need to date a single mother for something like that. I wonder why. Good luck in life. Your attitude, views, and opinions make you very unappealing to the women that you that have seen this. It's not a video for women. It's a video for my male audience. I have a room full of females here and we're quite, quite repulsed by you right now. You think you know everything, but you're quite ignorant. She's created an audience of women to watch my video talking about the four, a response video about the four reasons why you should have a single mother. I would say that makes me a winner. Uh, I've created an audience of uh, women watching my videos. Interesting. Oh, shocking. I'm a single mom and all I've heard and read here is negativity. What a joke. It's because guys have not had the greatest experience dating single mothers. I actually did a coaching call with a woman and several actually over the last few months on clarity 
where they were asking me for tips on how to be a better partner in a relationship. So rather than bitching about, you know, men yielding to, you know, your imperative and serving you, maybe you should kind of open your eyes just a tiny bit and see what you can do to maybe make yourself a better version of yourself. Here's another one, Dahlia. Wow, you're classifying women. So this is the uh, charge of overgeneralization who have been so different and complex into rigid categories with a cold judgmental attitude. Well, let me tell you that even though I don't fit into any of your so-called, well, why are you upset if you don't fit into any of them? I would never choose to be with a guy like you, even if he thinks he knows it all and label people. Like you think you know it all and label people with a little too, too little compassion, dealing with people as if they were mere types. It's okay, it's called self-preservation, gentlemen and ladies. It's called self-preservation. You can decide to avoid whack jobs. Anybody that's dated somebody with daddy issues, a woman with daddy issues, knows that they're a complete nightmare. <laughs> you can go through clinical, you know, work to get that fixed. Honestly, you know, you don't have to carry it around and throw it at guys. One dominant trait, anyway, blah, blah, blah. I think that's enough of that one. Let's move on here. Juliet Simon, you're a fucking idiot. Also, not in the least tiny bit sexy or interesting, totally pathetic. What, what, what about the video is supposed to be sexy or interesting well it's it's interesting to men obviously and clearly to you because you took some time to write a comment shoshana says you generalize about women paint us all with a brad i guess you mean broad brush but this is not a reflection of real life well it obviously violates your value system which is why you wrote a comment you're entitled to your opinions but you're no expert on women well i'm i'm an expert in my experiences that's for sure do you want to be a bachelor just dating your whole life and not settle down i'm totally okay with that I'm just totally, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really good with just, you know, <laughs> again, it's called self-preservation and making better choices. My channel is about becoming a better version of yourself, making better choices and partnering up with better women is definitely a smart and intelligent thing to do. All right. What do we got here? Oh, this one, this one came in recently. Now you'll notice I don't normally respond to any of these, uh, triggered women. I just let it go because, you know, like I said earlier, the pig wants you to get in the mud and roll around and get dirty with them. And you just can't, you know, you can't win or argue with them. So this one here comes along and goes, you're one sad case. And again, this is the uh, SMV video, the sexual marketplace value in the wall video that I did in the last couple of weeks. She goes, when you're sad, you're one sad case, you will die alone as an old man. Very sad. So in two sentences, she's already called me sad twice. I'm balding. Uh, thank you for, you know, observing. Good. Your eyes work. Uh, single and absolutely bitter at the world and women. I would hate to wake up with all that anger in me every day. I suggest you get lots of lots and lots of therapy, not only for your sake, but your daughter's sake too. Again, you know, they try to shame you. You're sad, you're balding, you have a small dick, you're gonna be an old man in an old age home by yourself drooling like a loser, and your daughter's gonna have a bad father as well. Oh, princess. And by the way, anybody that uses princess in their name, you got a lot going on there, don't you? I really will pray for you. Yeah, I think you need to pray for yourself. You wonder why you're old and still single. Oh boy. <laughs> wow, you're one pathetic case that is beyond help. Alarming to know there's men out your age that act 20 years old still. You know, don't be upset, princess, because I can date 20 year olds and you probably can't. Just utterly pathetic. Yeah, again, no wonder you're single. So what I did was I said, I'm just gonna pin this to the top and let viewers respond to it. Anyway, uh, that, that's pinned to the top on that video if you want to check it out. Uh, again, I seriously feel sorry for you. Enjoy your cats. Is this a crazy cat lady? Oh no, she's a crazy bird lady. They're almost as bad. Okay, uh, Gracious here says, if it were me, I'd invest in nice hats in winter because it's sexy, but let's not forget manners, which are more important than how much you make or what you look like. And clearly mummy didn't teach you any. So she's suggesting that I don't have any manners. Okay, let's keep going. Men, don't listen to him. You all need to be like Jesus, a loving gentleman and not a caveman. Okay, let's keep going. Women want someone who takes care of himself, is thoughtful, kind, a gentleman, not someone who has money. Huh? So she's actually conflicting herself because as I go here, she says men to avoid ones that won't provide. And then back over here, you're saying not someone that has money. So you don't want somebody that has money, but you want somebody that's going to provide. Well, gracious, do you think that, you know, we're going to provide with rainbows and butterflies and unicorns? Uh, it takes money to buy shit. I'm not sure if that has sunk into your head yet. 
Just a typical rich man thing to say. So self-serving. Um, Miss Tegra. Okay, last one. I want to wrap this up because this is going to take forever. Uh, what is it that you're looking for? Maybe you're looking for the wrong things. But basing a marriage on finding someone hot or subservient will never work. So this is a another charge of superficiality, you know, suggesting that you're not allowed to, 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 to find a partner that is attractive. You know, if you didn't go after bimbos or how could you be so shallow to turn down a single mother, you know, that typical sort of charge. Uh, oh, here's another good one. So yeah, they should get a backbone and man up. Yes, that is why they commit suicide. This is a divorce truth video. Uh, that's helped a lot of guys. I've gotten a ton of great feedback on that one. So thank you. But this is your, um, you know, you know, this, this, this woman, she's got some issues. If she's saying, you know, you need to get a backbone and man up. This is another typical charge. You know, women will do the, you need to man up, be a man, you know, grow a backbone, you know, do this, do that. And it's like this, you know, the shaming tactic, you know, the, you know, the shaming tactics of insulting and degrading. You've already, you've already won guys, you know, when they start doing stuff like this. And then she says, that is why men commit suicide. No, they commit suicide because they've been treated so badly going through divorce. You know, the, the, the suicide rate in men is something like 10 times higher than it is in women post-divorce. So just let that sink in and take a look at the facts. Uh, not all women are the same. No, Walt, spelt out exactly. Not all women are the same. No, Walt, yeah. I feel bad for the man this is about. Yeah, well, the guy got screwed big time in that video. Please keep at least on hand on the wheel. Well, thanks for your driving tips. Here's another good one. Men are such needy, whiny pussies. Get a grip and grow up. You know, she said earlier, be a man, you know, have a backbone, grow up. If you aren't man enough to be with a woman with kids, then don't bother her. Oh boy. You know, a lot of women don't even tell guys that they have kids until several dates in. So, you know, surprise, surprise, Miss Tegra, or waste her. And, and you, know, <laughs> you know, they wonder why they get dumped. Uh, or waste her time, bone buddy. Eh, da, da. Well, here's another funny one. So this was uh, how to make women interested in your video. Again, lots of positive feedback. Look at the comments from guys going back and forth. But anyway, she says, bah, ha, ha. women are always looking to reproduce. Oh my damn. Yeah, if you're a woman that hasn't had a child and under the age of 40, typically that is, you know, a huge push for them that, you know, there's a biological clock that ticks. Now I'm guessing you're probably over 40. Maybe you've popped out a few kids. I don't know. I have no idea, but yes, women under 40 are always looking to reproduce. It's, it's one of the primary reasons why they're looking for a relationship. Oh my damn. That is hilarious. We are looking for a tender protector. Yes. It's a proven fact. Ah, clueless. That is hilarious. I don't care if a man is seven year old. Well, you must be an older lady then if you're dating 70 year olds. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. That is uh, the end of the video. I just want to thank you guys for, uh, you know, checking this one out and subscribing to the channel, leaving comments below. And of course, if there's somebody that you'd like to show this to you, please feel free to share it with them. Smash the like button and uh, leave me a comment below, fellas. I want to know what your thoughts are. Thanks for checking out the video today. Peace.